Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gaming Den. My name is Tyler and we are here with a PvP of the new Terminator Dark Fate Defiance uh, real-time strategy game with um, so Jellybean, right? So this is one of our first basically PvPs. Uh, we did one before this, however, it was very quick, um, like really quick. So we didn't bother with that one. That we just had that one as a test run. But this one was a really good game, really, really cool. So as you can see, uh, I started recording a bit late because I forgot to hit the record button. Uh, um, but as you can see, me and Sir Jellybean have secured this apartment block because uh, it's strong. It's a good defensive position. Alpha is a really good position, actually, uh, to capture. Uh, very hard to capture if you're on the other side of the map because it's right next to mine and Sir Jellybean's spawn, pretty much. Uh, so to capture it and hold it from the other opponent's point of view really really difficult however uh, as you can see here i'm looking through the vehicles there's some there's so much with the founders okay the founders are like the remnants of the u.s military basically and uh, they got lots of high-tech cool stuff um they even got a high mars which is insane actually the high mars is actually overpowered as hell but um as you can see i'm getting into a defensive position so jelly beans got charlie so right now we are We've got three points. The enemy got two points. I'm sending this uh, striker as a scout. I want to see what they got, what's going on. Uh, with this game, you can get a lot of stuff in really quickly. Legion has some quite powerful stuff. Um, yeah, Legion has some powerful things, but a lot of their stuff's slow, especially the infantry. Their infantry is really slow. Uh, the founders, in my opinion, uh, I just popped some smoke because I'm getting lit up. Um, but yeah, so the Legion have really, um, slow infantry. We will do a PVP with the Legion. So you guys can see that from our point of view, how we operate with them. Uh, but as you can see for me, I am digging in, in the suburban area and here the enemy come towards Sir Jellybean. The, this guy's playing as the founders as well. Uh, so you've got one opponent who's founders. The other is Legion uh, or Skynet. And then... Um, as you can see my strikers getting lit up however I kind of have an idea of what they got there now um, popping some more smoke uh, smoke actually really does work in this it's really good um, I'm bringing a Bradley and this Bradley actually has a yeah it has a plasma gun and 80 GMs the eight so look I'm gonna say this uh, in this game in this game, you really want to go ATGM heavy because infantry are meh. Infantry are good, like, but the vehicles are what really hurt. They pack a punch. And you're going to see here, I'm getting into position real quick because I see that they're coming with a massive attack force, mostly unarmored fist. So this is why you want to go ATGM heavy because ATGMs are badass. And, and people go armor heavy in this game because look how much armor there is right that you can choose from um armor is good for just punching holes and shit and as you can see i'm trying to get my upgraded plasma abrahams uh in place and i've got my bradley hidden behind that building and but i know that they're coming with an armored fist so uh, i'm getting i'm getting ready for that i'm not gonna push here they come atgm whoa damn so as you can see you've got electronic counter electronics uh warfare so sometimes AT gems will just swerve off because they've got um, uh, electronic warfare, basically. Um, but as you can see, we did take out one of the vehicles. The effects, the, the graphics and the effects in this game are beautiful, by the way. Uh, I love the explosions. Oh, double AT ATGM. Um, I'm not pushing for forward too heavy. Um, I thought I'd just quickly do a counter attack, see what they got. AT gem, fucking AT gems everywhere, man. I don't even know what they're firing at. Um, they probably don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm doing a quick counter attack. No infantry. Um, my infantry's dug in, and the infantry get get whacked in this. I'm going to be honest. Infantry get get whacked really quickly. Um, but 80 gems will literally knock out most vehicles in a single hit. Bang! See, Bradley managed to survive, but you know he's badly hurt. The gun's damaged. Need to repair. The repair, I'm popping smoke, but the repair is actually quite quick in this game. See, the smoke works. You see how that worked there? 80 gem swerves off because of the smoke. 
and this terminator tank has got uh, electronic warfare um as you can see the 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 atgm swerved off uh and then bang my abrams got all hacked but yeah they're coming again with another basically they i counter attack them they're coming with a, a force to repel me and then counter attack again so as you can see it's two, it's just a kind of to and fro um the terminator tank is really good um the Terminator tank is uh, not as accurate as, say, human stuff, uh, but it can pack a punch when it does hit, and it can take a hit. But as you see, ATGM just swerved off. I almost hit one of the... That's what's cool as well, is that, you know, the ATGM, the ATGM might fly away in a different direction, but it could hit something else, so there is always that possibility. Uh, I've got one ATGM left in the Bradley. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but as you can see, I just put a javelin team in uh, one of the buildings um, because, yeah, they're coming. So I'm trying to get more ATGMs on the field. Uh, I decided to go with a paladin. The artillery in this game is also really good. The paladin's really good. Um, I'm looking at what Bradley's to go with now because um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I want ATGMs, though, so that's why I'm looking for the... Uh, the main gun, I'm like, ah, uh, main gun is whatever. I want AT gems. Um, for those of you who don't know, that's anti-tank guided missile. So as you can see, they've also got artillery on the field. Uh, plasma artillery. Uh, also quite good. They're, they're, actually, the plasma artillery in this reminds me of uh, the Star Wars, uh, the clone, the Republic artillery with the with the four legs. Very similar. But yeah, as you can see, they've pulled back. Uh, I've decided, you know what, I'm not going to push. Um, because the thing is, is that, okay, in this game, it isn't like Gates of Hell where um, where if you, you where it's a point system, right? So, like, the more, point, the more points you have on the field, you start to rack up actual points, you know, up to a thousand, and you win. That doesn't exist in this. You have, we put a 40-minute timer. At the end of that 40 minutes, whoever has the most points wins. Uh, unless you capture every single point and then you win straight away. So, m basically, this I was discussing with Sir Jellybean. And I was like, look, let's just defend. Um, because we've got we've got more points than them. So, if we just defend for another 30 minutes, we win. Right? So, uh, but as you can see, that artillery is a pain in my ass. It's just pounding the hell out of my position. I'm trying to move my paladin because he seems to be getting there quite close to it so yeah so as you can see so jelly bean so jelly bean did try and attack on e but holy shit look how many freaking terminators are in that building you will see later i will pound that building with a freaking high uh but he sent infantry into the building like a madman like i if i was an infantry soldier like yeah go and clear that building of terminators i'd be like yeah, no, let's just nuke it. Bang, see, that is an ATGM. Right? That's the power of an ATGM. Is that they can be extremely accurate because they're obviously, uh, they lock onto a target. Uh, I'm thinking about more infantry. Decide to bring some rangers, I believe. And maybe a support vehicle for those rangers. I don't have long left. Yeah, I decided to go with a, uh, a GMG, which is a grenade machine gun. On the Humvee, actually really good against infantry. Um, like, grenade launchers, so for those, grenade launchers are the best to fight uh, the Rev-6s, which are like the T-800s, and then the Homunculi, which are just like the basic Terminator infantry. They walk very slow, they don't really run, but the Rev-6s are super fast and accurate. Bang! What a shot from the ATGM crew. So I decided to move in some rangers into that building. Bang, that Humvee got whacked. Um, but we've got ATGMs. They're trying to push down this way, but bang. It's just it's an absolute... It's, it's a clusterfuck. Um, but yeah, they lost all that. So... But they're still coming. They're still coming with more. So I'm going to move that Bradley up that way. Terminator tank. Oh, those rangers are getting smacked. Um, 
Boom. See? Terminator tank, it can take a hit. Like maybe one to one to three AT gems to take it out. Yeah, that's two AT gems. There, three AT gems. So three AT gems to take out a Terminator tank. It is tough. And see, I'm trying to figure out what to bring to the field. I'm trying to think of my strategy here. Uh, but I am going more armor heavy. Just like, like I said, the Termin, if you're fighting Legion, they are, they're pretty armor heavy, like naturally. Uh, they have infantry, of course, but they don't use it as much. It's, they really do go vehicle heavy. Uh, and if you play as them, it, it is easier to go vehicle heavy. Because to be honest, the infantry is like the homunculi, like the basic Terminator infantry. They're okay, but... The, like I said, the infantry in this game is, uh, it's alright, but look how my rangers and that in the building are just getting whacked. Um, but if you're going to go infantry, it's better to try and go with ATGM crews just so you can take out the vehicles. Because as you can see, like, they've barely sent infantry my way. I don't think they've sent any. You know, it's always been vehicles, it's been the, the, the walkers, like the mechs. That, that's it. They haven't sent homoculi. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going on Sir Jedi inside, but he's holding the line. Um, I was trying to think like, okay, how can I help him? And I want to get the high miles so I can smash that position. So I'm just waiting now. Um, because, yeah, he's he's trying his best, but they are pushing really, really hard on the left. Decided to repair that. I just realized I needed to repair that. Um, trying to sneak my Bradley. Oof. Trying to sneak my Bradley through the urban area. Trying to take cover behind the buildings. Uh, he's only got one ATGM left, so... Probably won't be able to do much. But I'm trying to kind of sneak him up as a scout. But anyway, I, I, I get at least one, I think. Okay, I didn't get one off. I thought he did get an ATGM off. Anyway, I, I get the crew back. The crew survived, so that's good. Uh, and now I'm thinking, yes, what to get? Got more rangers, put them in the building. And yeah, I'm still thinking, I, I forgot to get the high miles then. But um, so Jelly Bean said, no, don't worry, I've got it. So. But I'm looking on the left of the minimap and I can see that uh, he is still, they're still pushing him. And he's, he's, he's kind of pushing, falling, falling back a bit. But as for as for this game, for me it's like a, an old school RTS mixed with some modern elements. Uh, but it definitely gives old school RTS vibes. Um, I do. Uh, I think I've said it before in one of my other videos, but I would love a better cover system. So the building cover system is great, but it'd be really good to be able to like build sandbags, kind of get behind cars and things like that. Uh, outside of buildings that'd be really good so as you can see i got the high mars and i'm like you know what i am going to smack this position with high mars but it didn't want to uh and i was like okay <laughs> why are you not firing um so it does have a minimum range and a maximum range um but it wasn't firing As you can see, I'm trying to figure out why it wasn't firing. And now it is. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe a little bit of a bug. But as you can see, a high mass, six rockets. Absolute. Try and follow that rocket. <laughs> but yeah, it is it is carnage. The high mass is really powerful. But you have to rearm it after every single shot. So. Bang, that building gets taken off the map. But yeah. I broke their attacks. Another Terminator tank tried to attack me, got taken out. But as you can see now, the enemy, because one of them is playing as founders, also um, got a high Mars. So I'm now looking for the ammo truck, I think.
Graham. Maybe I'm not. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm looking at what's available. Um. But yeah, I, I do get the ammo truck because the HIMARS has a six rocket pod, right? So it fires six missiles and then that's it. You need to re rearm it. Uh, and you can only get two ammo trucks, I believe, in this entire game. But most things don't last long enough to rearm. Um, like, most things have enough ammo. Uh, I think it's just the HIMARS and maybe, maybe the Paladins, like the artillery systems, basically. So yeah, I decided to um, look in, I'm looking at potential targets. Uh, so Jellybean did get hit by enemy high miles. I just don't know where it is. So there's a bit of a bug going on here. It just didn't want to... Uh, it didn't want to rearm, so I just did it manually. Yeah, so that's when you do it manually, you just open up and it creates a circle. Anything in that circle gets rearmed. I've got this one ranger, and I'm like, okay, what can I do with you? So I'm going to use him as a scout. I'm going to try and use him as a scout and uh, target acquisition. So I want to be able to see where the enemy has units, how I can, and also once I know where they are, I can hit them with high miles. But the scout got taken out. But I still got to see a, a bit of where they've got got stuff. So I grabbed my high miles. I thought about getting a Black Hawk, but to be honest with you, uh, it gets shot down very easily. So wait, in my in my opinion, yeah. So they've got this. They've got the ship. Uh, it's annoying me. Uh, some of the ATGM crews can also shoot down aircraft, but I didn't have any. So, that's why I'm clicking. I'm, I'm looking. Uh, but he managed to take out uh, Jelly Beans Paladin and Ammo Truck. I'm not sure what shot it down, to be honest. Could have been anything. Oof, I think that was my Bradley. Yeah. So my Bradley shot it down. Those things are pretty expensive as well. You can only get one at a time. Or you can only get one for the whole game, I believe, actually. That's one thing about PvP is that some vehicles, some units, you can only buy like one or two of them and that's it. You won't get any more. Uh, so it's actually quite interesting because it forces you to be more strategical um, and more tactical with your, on your in your approach. Some vehicles you can get loads of them, right? Uh, like very like Humvees and stuff. Uh, I decide to just just fire in the general direction. I'm waiting for it to reload. Oh, yeah, waiting for the arm. We'll get to see. That's what I mean. It's so OP. Yeah, I destroyed something. A couple things, but it is very OP, the high Mars. Uh <laughs> It just absolutely wrecks everything. Uh, but there's only, you know, you only get a limited amount of shots from it. You know, once the ammo truck runs out of ammo, so the high Mars. And you can only get one high Mars, so if you, if you lose it, that's it. It's gone. I'm trying to think of where to uh, where to hit it. hit him. So I decided to kind of go for the basically around the same area because uh, I think they still got an RT uh, emplacement. Okay, I decided to go over there now. Yes, sir. I think I do change my mind. Yeah. If you look on the mini map, there's a little red circles that ping up, and that's basically it's giving you a, it's giving you a area of 
potential artillery. Where the artillery is firing from. Yeah, so I destroyed something. Not sure what. Yeah, the high Mars is uh, one of those things that if you're playing as Legion and the enemy get the high Mars, uh, you want to take it out. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And it's just bad to get it gone. So I think those are Rev 6. I think they're sending infantry my way uh, now. They did. Their, they tried a the little attack on that on Alpha, but uh, yeah, it's basically a fortress. You'd need you'd need a hell of a lot of firepower to take Alpha. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit that position again. Trying to trying to force them out of Delta basically. I don't actually know if they've got much there. Maybe they haven't, but anyway. So yeah, I'm just trying to prepare for um, another potential assault from them. And I'm also thinking about attacking myself at this point. Fire! Decide to hit this um, apartment office building area is because that's like so it is the map's quite well balanced because alpha is a fortress echo is a fortress so each side has kind of a fortress um a fortress position i would say echo is more of a fortress um so i'm just looking at what is available for me at the moment So I killed something, uh, probably more than one thing, because they had a lot of infantry in those buildings. So I'm trying to uh, continue to fortify, basically, because they haven't attacked in a while, so my thought is they're building up. Uh, that's a lot of Gates of Hell playing. Um, however, you know, I need to realise, like I said, you haven't got unlimited units. and that, Oh, they've got a high Mars now. We really, we saw it on the mini map and we're like, oh crap. So I'm trying, I start to, I start to move my stuff away because I'm like, none of us know where the high Mars is going to hit. We just saw it fire on the mini map. Here's me just, just trying to move everything out of the point. But it was actually, so Jellybean got hit and he only lost a Humvee. So I don't know why they didn't just smash Alpha. But anyway, what happened next is literally we done, we done what they didn't do. Uh, and what I mean by that, they I've been hitting them with a high mass for, Jesus, like half the game. But they haven't tried to hit it, take it out. Like this guy didn't try to hit where I've been firing from or anything. Actually, to be honest, the guy wasted that high mass shot. He took out a single Humvee. It's not really worth it. Um, But I saw him fire. So I'm going to, I decide to hit that area. Um, I'm waiting for Sir Jellybean to send in his vehicle so we can, I can see basically. And it's firing again. So I'm like, yeah, it's around there. Let's just, let's just choose an area. And there it is. Uh, Sir Jellybean decides to engage with his Abrahams. 
and I believe he got it. Yeah. So he managed to take it out. Um, I, I decided I'm not going to stop. Um, or I did it. Fired one missile, I believe. <laughs> and it came down right on top of their vehicle. So, but yeah, we managed to take out the high miles. Now they don't have one at all. Um, I mine is right at the back of my lines, but they never tried to hit it. Um, you know, like when they attacked, when he when he attacked with that uh, flying the ship, the legion ship, he took out the paladin. Um, when he should have taken out my high miles because the high miles is much more of a threat than a paladin. And I've moved now because I realized that they got some stuff, so I, I decided to move my high miles. That's what's so great about and so OP about self propelled guns and MLRS is that you can fire and move, and it's, you know. But here the enemy come, they're coming for another attack on me, and I decide to spring my ambush and bring all my vehicles out of. The out of hiding and this is this is death this is <laughs> absolute carnage I mean who does this I, I literally they, they funneled themselves like look at this crossfire rev sixes are even being taken out it's absolute carnage I'm like you know what I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let them pay. They're gonna pay you for the for this, basically. Um, pay the price of stupidity. They funneled themselves. Not sure why you just fired one missile and then they all fired at the same time. But their entire attack force was wiped out. Because they, they all, instead of going middle, left and right, they all went down the center and just, yeah, carnage. Boom. ATGM take the, took the walker out. Now me, me and Sir Jidabin, we got to a point where we were like, well, after that attack, there's no way they've got anything really left to fight with uh, after losing so much in that attack. Because it was a mixture in that attack. There was a mixture of Founders and Legion. So both both of them were firing, fighting me. Uh, probably they might have been looking for the high marks, to be honest. Um, I don't know. But what I do know is that they completely funneled themselves going straight down the middle like that. They should have spread their forces out a lot more because they lost so much in that attack. It's unbelievable. So yeah, I decided to hit these homunculi because they're so slow. Carnage. Absolute carnage. Yeah, it got to a point where me and Sir, Sir Jelly Bean were like, well, we can probably end this. Um, we can probably end this without losing too much as well. Because they lost so much in their in their attacks. And to be honest, this is why it's actually I found in this game, in the PvP, in, in Terminator Dark, Dark Fate Defiance. If you can get the initiative early on in the game. And by that I mean get more points than the enemy. Early on in the game. And you can fortify you couldn't win the game like that so i think gates of hell has a very like interesting one because I, I would like to have more points uh, system like more of a point system um yeah this is gonna get oh he's gonna get whacked <laughs> yeah this game is this game is very good it is good um definitely there's improvements that can be made for sure um I think PvP and Skirmish is a bit bare bones at the moment. Definitely think that they could improve uh, with that. that. Move, uh, having AI as well available. Uh, 
in um, multiplayer. Uh, it would be cool because me and Sir Jellybee, sometimes we like to just uh, play a chill game against AI. And we can't do that in this game. So... got the abrams back up but to be honest unless they can absolutely smash either bravo or charlie and take it in the next seven and a half minutes or so seven let's say seven minutes then they're not gonna win they're still pushing though um they're still pushing Boom. Good shot. Really good shot. Never show your ass to the enemy when you're in a tank. That bot, that striker is just guys gunning for it. This is what I mean, so JD Beam like, well, I think we should just push because I decided to send this crew member in as a scout because we don't know what they got, but I we we basically like they can't have a lot left like after that, <laughs> and then then one of them left the game, so we're like, well, okay, it's done then. So I just grab everything and move forward basically. Yeah, so I'm still slowly moving up. I'm being cautious. I'm not being overly confident because they could still have some uh, ATGM, ATGM stuff in, in there. Even a Terminator tank could take out, you know, quite a lot. But when I get there, there ain't, <laughs> there's nothing there. Yeah, they, they had nothing left. Um... So that's it everybody thank you very much for watching this uh, pvp and remember to like comment and subscribe